Okay. I'd like to call the public hearing for FMCC to order. It's 6.55. And President Dustin Swanger is here. Is that, would anyone from the public like to stand and add anything at this time? Okay. Close the meeting. Public hearing closed. <laughs> well, I'm going to be close to my mother, so that's why. Nice. Seven o'clock. Call the full board meeting to order. Salute to the flag. Ryan. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence. Okay. Roll call. Here, Roman Wheeler. Here. Legislature Isabel. Here. Legislature Kukjis. Here. Legislature Kelly. Here. Legislature Quackenbush. Legislature Diamond. Legislature White. Present. Legislature Beniak. Here. Legislature Detachment. Here. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules to add resolution 163, aid to prosecution, and 164, the FMCC budget. Um, uh, legislator White's sponsors, I'll, and Legislator Bignac seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Okay. Public comment? Would anyone have anything to say at this time? Okay. Going forward. There is no approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. There is none at this time. There was no committee meetings. So approval of budgetary transfers. I need a sponsor. Joe, Isabel will sponsor. I'll second. All approve? Aye. Aye. Against? Move forward. I'd also at this time like to discuss the procurement record. This is the first month that it's come before us. Um, the county executive has given to us the, it's behind the transfer of funds. If there's anything that anyone would like to bring up, um, at this time, there were two things I'd like to point out. Um, the two things that the county executive um, noticed. The first is Linstar, um, that is a three year term for the amount of $1,575. Um, looking back at the backup documentation, it was allotted for $1,900, so it falls well under what was um, put aside for it, just to note. Um, and also the second thing is also a three-year contract. So those are just two things I wanted to point out, but I'm very glad this was brought to our attention. I think this is a good thorough checks and balances. Um, and I think this is a good procedural legislator whites. My only concerns would be um, what some of these mean, and I. You know, I apologize for not knowing when um, when the NISAC opinions were delivered in relation to these. Um, but their opinion on that multi-year contracts uh, should come before the legislature as well as intermunicipal agreements. Um, there are both of the ones in May were multi-year. Uh, there was one in June that was multi-year that was not uh, done by resolution, and it's also the same one that would be an intermunicipal agreement. Um, so I just bring up that that uh, point to whether those comply with the NISAC agreement and, or the NISAC opinion, I should say. Yeah. I, yes. I would like to, like to ask the county attorney on his 
his opinion of it, uh, whether they should be brought before the legislator board or Well, a couple of uh, comments. Um, first of all, as far as what Ryan said, I, I wouldn't know whether these were done before or after what I guess would be the second uh, uh, NISAC meeting is the first one. There wasn't anything conclusive, uh, I don't think. Um, the, the the other point is the the NISAC opinion is is just that it's an opinion. Um, mm -hmm. My understanding, and I don't want to speak for him, but my understanding is that the county executive has been of a mind to uh, seek uh, approval um, where appropriate, uh, based upon those opinions. I I will tell you. Quite frankly, and I've said this to some of you, myself, I really don't agree with all of the uh, opinions that were issued by NISAC as far as who has authority to sign what contracts. Um, but again, I, it's my understanding that the, uh, out of respect for the legislature, that the executive has been uh, moving with a practice of of seeking approvals of at least some things. I can't speak to these in, uh, these in, in particular because I don't even know when they were done. Well, we know the months that they were done, but in terms of when opinions were issued. You know, the, the, if, if the charter is going to be amended to clarify some of these items, I mean, that's, that I think is what everybody anticipates happening a little later on down the road, but we're, we're still on a little bit of a rocky road here as far as uh, there has been no, no uh, formal definite ruling by anybody who has the authority to issue one as to the answers to some of these questions as far as authority to sign uh, and, uh, and approve contracts on behalf of the county. And I think we would all agree that there is language within the charter that differs from, if not potentially, is in conflict with other language in the charter with respect to that particular topic. And I, I don't know exactly how this would be appropriate to do, but uh, you know, if it's. I, I guess as a legislator, I'd like to see maybe possibly a, a written either response or opinion from either jointly the attorney and executive just stating how we, how we are going to proceed until any charter amendments are made so, we, so that we know um, exactly what we're doing. You know, we've passed two resolutions approving multi-year contracts. Um, and, and like the attorney said, um, you know, this, is, this could go either way, uh, but the only opinion that I've read in, in writing is, is that of NISACs um, to clarify our existing charter. I would like to see something that either is a response to that or a differing opinion that, that is something that we can at least sort of build off of. One thing I'd like to add, I like that we are working together with the executive and as a body together. Um, and we've had different opinions from our attorney and NISAC. Um, some of these did come before NISAC came to us. Um, but having them together, we're able to analyze them and look at them in detail and all that they possess. So looking at the 1575, we know that 1900, 1900 was allotted. So as we go forward, we can look at the procurement policy and all the data with the contracts, whether it's intermunicipal, whether it's multi-year, um, and then assess as a per case. So excellent. Thank you very much. Does anybody have anything else?
Alex? I'm going to go on record. I'm thanking the executive for, at the very least, being transparent with these contracts. Yes. Thank you so much, Alex. I completely agree. Okay. Yes. Absolutely, Ryan. and I think this is one of the greatest things that come out comes out of our procurement record is this air transparency for professional services between twenty five and seventy five thousand. I agree. Excellent. Okay, moving forward. If we have nothing else, we have unfinished business. New business. The resolution. One sixty. We have resolution approving abstract of audited claims. Office of the legislator. I need a sponsor. I'll move. Legislator White's the second. I'll second. Alex. Discussion. Wishes of the floor. Aye. 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 Against. Okay, that passes. Next, 161, resolution appointing member of audit committee. I need a sponsor. I'll sponsor. I need a second. I'll second. Okay, legislator Whites. And would anyone like to volunteer? I can't because I'm going to have to fill in for the chairman. Um, he won't be able to attend some. Um, and Martin's always there, so um, Alex, you are the man. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> and you've already done it, so yes. you are one wonderful man. Thank you so much. I will motion to amend it, adding Alex's name. Second that. Second that. Okay. All. All to approve. Aye. 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 Against. Okay, that moves. That's on the amendment. That's on the amendment. Okay, resolution um, amended. All, all that approve on the amended resolution? Aye. 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 Against? Okay, that moves. Resolution 162. Resolution authorizing the sale of real property acquired by tax foreclosure, Town of Amsterdam, Town Treasurer. I'll sponsor. I need a second. I'll second it. Legislator Pignac. Okay. This property is a piece that is going to be a plow turnaround. Um, so it's going for good use. It's a small piece. Um, are there any other questions that anyone does have on this? No? Okay. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Okay. And that moves forward. And 163. Resolution authorizing acceptance of aid to prosecution grant 2004 district attorney. I'll sponsor. I need a second. I'll second. Alex? Any discussion? Okay. All approved? Aye. 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 Against? Okay. And that moves. And to 164, resolution adopting 2014-2015 FMCC operating budget, Office of the Legislator. So moved. I'll Alex and Martin. Excellent. And full board? Full board. Full board, excellent. Okay. And hmm. this is why the surface is so much better. I don't have to look at an agenda. <laughs> Under other Yes, Madam Chair. Yes. Move to reconsider resolution 148. Okay. I'd second that. Okay. I need one moment for our clerks. Thank you so much.
and who was the second? That was Legislator White. White's. Okay, that's for resolution 148, 2014. And what do we roll call. On the motion to reconsider. Right. So, roll call. Um, Legislator Duchesne? Aye. Chairwoman Miller? Aye. Legislator Isabel? Aye. Legislator Kuchis? Yes. Legislator Kelly? No. Legislator White? Aye. Legislator Beanier? Aye. Okay. Okay. Resolution amending the 2014 budget for the New York State Indigent Legal Services Grant for the Public Defender. Chair, can I ask you a question? What Absolutely. What is the number that's required to uh, pass this? I believe five. 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 <clears throat> simple, simple majority. Simple majority. Okay. Of the entire legislature. Okay. Okay. So we need a sponsor in a second? Or is it going to be the... No, it already has a sponsor. Okay. We're just going to discuss it. Is there any discussion over the resolution? Madam Chair. Yes. <clears throat> since, there's, since there's some questions on uh, contracts and multi-year and multi contracts, is this going to be coming before the board again? as a three-year contract? Uh, let's see how much more. Not having seen a contract, I, I, I do not know if it's going to be a three-year contract or individual contracts for each of the years. Uh, I, I don't believe we've seen any proposed contracts yet, at least I don't believe I have. So I'm not sure how the department would be planning on anticipating dealing with that. Um, the, I, I believe I understand where your question is coming from, Legislator Pignac, in that this resolution does not appear in and of itself to formally grant approval of the legislature to enter into a three-year contract, assuming that that approval is necessary. Right. The, uh, Madam Chair? Yes. The, the, the resolution just, just seeks really a a, a budget amendment to to allow for uh, the contracting of uh, those those services, and that would just be done through the department's budget. Correct. So the procurement policy would be the follow up if it would come back to us. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the checks and balances as far as as far as I see. Yes. Martin had his hand up. Did, you're good. Okay. If I may just yes. add to that, um, to sort of answer uh, Legislator Beniak's question a little, is uh, if it is three years, there would be the question of whether it would come before us or not, mm -hmm. you know, differing in opinion. Um, but no matter what, if it's a multi or if it's a single year agreement, if it's over 25,000, and of course it would have to be done in the aggregate, if it's over 25,000, it would be presented to us in the procurement record as our new procurement policy dictates, and, and we would have chance to weigh in at that point. Okay, thank you. Legislator Whites. Alex. I actually have a procedural question for the our attorney. Um, <clears throat> it, is it perfectly legal to reconsider a resolution that has already been voted down? Yes, it is. It must be done pursuant to the, your rules of procedure. Uh, and, and, and the resolution to reconsider is a, is a well-established, recognized resolution through Robert's Rules of Order, uh, embellished a little bit by your own rules of procedure, which require it to be done 
at the next regular meeting following the resolution, following the meet, the regular meeting, or the meeting, not the regular meeting, at which it was dealt with the first time. Mm -hmm. So this would be, this tonight would be the only window of opportunity to consider, to reconsider that particular resolution or any other resolution that, for example, that was adopted at the June meeting. Okay, thank you. Well, just there, right? I'd just like to make everybody aware that um, with this coming up, we took a look at our rules of procedure and the language is different of that of Robert's rules and it becomes a little cumbersome. Um, it's something that I'd like to put on the agenda for discussion on, uh, on August's Education and Government Committee to see if we would like to move forward with amending that language. Sounds good. Anyone else? Okay. <coughs> Roll call. Legislator, or Legislator White. Aye. Legislator Beniak. Aye. Legislator Dutessi. Aye. Chairwoman Wheeler? Aye. Legislator Isabel? Aye. Legislator Kuchis? Aye. Legislator Kelly? No, for the reasons I stated on my initial vote, we don't know if we're in violation of the... Uh, ...agreement uh, that we won the applied for the grant. Okay. Does it, oh, the other. Okay. Under other, there is a NISAC conference September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Our September full board meeting is scheduled for the 23rd so we would need a count to see who would be interested in going to the NISAC conference it's in Buffalo this year in the fall um, there are five weeks in September so we could move it till the 30th um, I know that legislator whites and myself are definitely going to be attending I hope that more are they're so um, packed full of information and useful. Um, but the deadline for registration is August 18th. And does anybody have any idea if they might be interested in going to the NISAC conference in September? I, or I may. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. So, Duke, I know you, you're really yeah, I went, I went to the last one. But yeah. I was going to ask, how, what is this one in, in the uniform like compared to what? It's better. It's the first one. The ones in the fall are the first ones that I went to, and it's what really hooked me. Mm -hmm. So it's it's in Buffalo, so it is a more of a trek, but um, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan, clearly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we would have to, next month, um, we'll have to push the full board meeting, but we'll rearrange that. Martin? I'd just like to remind everyone that uh, according to the charter, it is budget season full scale. Yes. Okay. Well, I think we covered anything. Does anybody have any, yes? Motion to adjourn. Well, does anybody have anything else <laughs> under other? No? Okay. Excellent. Adjourned. <laughs> 25 minutes. I make a motion to reconvene. I'll second that. Um, adding the, for 164, I'd like to make an amendment to this, year. this year's FMCC budget for to increase the expense budget to increase the expense budget $125,000 $125,000 <laughs>
we want this as part of the same resolution or as a separate resolution it's since we talked about it? It's a separate budget. It yeah, it's a separate. A separate it, it, time it, it's you're really going to have to then suspend the rules to add a 165. I think 165 is next. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's 165 will be next. And, and, and then add, and then do it as a, because it's two, it is, it's two different budget years. I wouldn't combine the two resolutions. Okay. Uh, yes. Under other, I'd, uh, I'd like to sponsor a resolution to amend the 2013-2014 FMCC operating budget. Um, I get a suspend the rules first. Yeah. Motion to suspend the rules to add resolution 165. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> suspend the rules by Duke and we, as it should Martin. Martin. Okay. The person who wants to get out of here. <laughs> All right, I just moved to suspend the rules so we can add resolution 165. So, Ryan. And then what I just said. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need a vote and a suspend the rules. Vote to suspend the rules. Um, All in favor, uh, aye. Mm -hmm. New resolution. New resolution. Duke sponsor Martin's. The second, 2013, 2014, 125,000 FMCC operating budget. There was a description. You had paper, yeah, right. We did. I, I it probably. I do my homework every time, Rick. <laughs> Wish I had a dog. Well, we know. Well, we know. We know what we, we know. We all know what it's going into. We need to vote. Yeah. Now we need to vote on the hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars from FMCC. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? And it passes. Anything else, Christy? Now, <laughs> now <laughs> anything else under other? Uh, you want to raise or anything? Or? <laughs> uh, now, Legislator Kelly? Motion to adjourn. All second. Excellent. Re-adjourn. <laughs>